the one question I get asked from business owners is, look at this, can franchising make me rich? This is one question a lot of business owners ask me that uh, Karthik, you keep promoting about franchising my business, but by franchising, will this really make me rich? Okay, so I'm going to answer very clearly in this particular video. So make sure you stay till the end because there are going to be some powerful concepts that you need to understand if you're a business owner and looking to franchise your business. Okay, so welcome to this new video. This is Karthik Nadu here. I'm a lawyer turned educationist and a franchise business coach. I'm the founder of Franchise Ecosystem Hub where I have hundreds of business owners implementing my system and getting massive results. In this particular video, I'm going to answer you and tell you straightly the question of can franchising make you rich? Let's get in and get started. The first thing I want to tell you is franchising is a system where you replicate your existing business. Okay, this is what the traditional way of franchising is. But the new way of ecosystem and the new way what I implement and our community members implement is replicating not only the business, but replicating yourself you got to create more business owners who looks just like you, who thinks like you, and who can work like you. And when you do that, I'll tell you members, it's going to be super powerful. And in this video, I'm going to give you the three factors on why franchising will 100% make you rich. The answer to this question is, if you ask me, the answer is 100% yes. Okay, by franchising your business, being a business owner, you can expect multiple, multiple folds into your business. How? I'm going to share right now. So let's get into the point number one. So what is point number one? The point number one to back this statement is franchising is an idea. You need to understand what is franchising as a business owner. If you want to scale up your business, if you want to scale up in the sense, it's about multiplication. I'm not talking about growing your business. Growing is about just taking step by step, but scaling is about multiplication from two to you go to four, four to eight and eight to 16. So that's how the scale up happens. During multiplication, you need to observe that franchising is the only way that you can scale up in that way. Why? Because if you want to do it yourself, there are two different kinds of models which are popular in the franchise industry. One is the Coco model and one is the Fofo model. The Coco model means it's company owned and company operated. So you will open the stores and you will run it by yourself. And the second one is Fofo model that is franchise owned and franchise operated. This is what I recommend a lot of businesses unless you are in manufacturing or any other uh, different industry where a Fofo model won't be suitable. I can advise you on that. But majoritally Fofo model is something it's called the hero model of the entire franchise industry. That's what I call. And by applying the Fofo model, you will get a lot of freedom, but the scalability also. Okay, so when you are actually scaling up in this way, franchising here is just that idea. I mean, you got to put in that idea to people and tell that this is what we're going to be scaling up. And when you replicate yourself and when you tell them that this is how I run my business and this is how I see when I'm in difficult times, when the profits are not happening, when the ROIs are stuck, that is how I react. And you got to train people that is your franchisees in such a way that they can implement the same strategy, same formula and get the results. When you do this, your franchising, since it's an idea, but the implementation has to happen through franchisees and your franchisees are going to be your are going to be your army okay they're like your army who's there outside and working not only for you but they're working for the brand okay that's a very very important point i want you to make a note that's the point number one the point number two the second statement to back it up of how franchising can make you rich is employees versus franchisees if you go with a model called Coco model, that's your company owned, company operated, you have to take care of the entire operations. Let me tell that you have a store outlet of a restaurant or a dentistry or anything in, in that context. And if you want to scale up for another five branches, let's say you open five branches. So what is the steps that you need to take? Step number one, you got to find property. Then after finding the property, you got to get the interiors. And after interiors, the main part is you got to invest on all the five branches. And then you got to appoint staff for that. You got to appoint employees, then train them, then look after all the accounts and all of that in detail. And that's not it. 
you you have to maintain the overheads of each branch so if your each branch is costing you about 50000 rupees on a lower side uh, for a uh, overhead if five branches are there 2.5 lakh becomes your monthly overhead so here i am talking about an idea where you can build your army and do it together where the risk factor is divided among everyone and it's a complete win win situation for the franchiser as well as the franchisee how does this work let me tell you if you're appointing employees probably the salary or the payroll would come up to 50000 again there is no good or bad about being an employee franchisee or business owner i feel it's all the same because at the end of the day you are putting a value there and you are getting paid an employee gets a consistent pay a business owner gets spiked up pays i mean it, it's it's on top it's on bottom so it's that's the journey of an entrepreneur so that's nothing much difference but the challenge here is employees versus franchisees there is one major difference let me be straightforward and tell you anybody who pays attention will take action this is what my mentor says he says that people who pay attention will take action so you got to make sure that people make the payment okay when you make when you see the people putting the money on the table to run that business the seriousness is on a different level and that's why franchisees are going to be your biggest asset and for them also it's a plus point it's a win win because franchisees also have you who can guide them better who are giving them the brand who are doing all the back end work who are supplying the raw materials everything where their extra risk factor becomes very less so it's like interdependent so i would suggest you when you do a comparison between the payrolls and operating a business by a company oriented model or appoint a franchisees train them and do it the risk factor over here of the profit is going to be on a higher side when it's a franchise model you know why because the people who have put in the money on the table that's a franchisees are really going to work hard i'll tell you members franchisees don't just join to work and just leave like that they they really get into franchise system is because they want to do something they want to achieve something and that fire inside them will make them work more okay this is the biggest advantage where you can build your army of franchisees and these franchisees are your leaders and these leaders will in turn train their staff you see the chain link franchiser franchisee and then the employees if you have to do it you got to make sure that you train every single employee in 10 different stores it's humanly impossible though you you run around here and there but still i would say that if you can train your second line leaders make a note of this very powerful statement if you can train a second line leaders as your franchisees okay so these people are going to train your employees and the overall brand is going to spike up okay that's a point number 2 let's get into point number 3 the point number 3 is going to be massive scalability by franchising your business you can see that massive scalability how as i told you if you want to open 10 branches by yourself you got to invest at least 10 lakhs if it's 1 lakh investment per branch but coming to franchising you can with the same kind of effort you can scale it up to 50 and you can do the same things with a much lesser effort how because you have the right people at the right place so all your different branches have your second line of leaders that is the franchisees and all you need to do is train your franchisees in such a way that they take care of that particular store and when they take care of the particular store or branch you see the result happening here one thing i want to tell all the business owners is franchising is a system where instead of you getting the entire entire profit you are going to be sharing it with the franchisees and that's the best way you know why because when you scale up with 10 branches to 50 branches the effort of your work the effort of teamwork is going to be on a bigger level imagine 50 people like you go out to the market do the marketing do the sales do the operations and give the customer support i'll tell you it's humanly impossible for you to take care of the support and service that you give in every single store but having franchisees and training them how to do it i'll tell you this will be the ultimate way that you can go forward and do it okay so my final words before i end this video is if you are a business owner that i would highly recommend you that you think about franchising your business because one store one branch one place could be very small for your capability 
you might be super talented you might be have the capability to run even 50 branches but you're staying in that one place could keep you stuck as a business owner in that one place if you're thinking about scaling up franchising is the ultimate ultimate way yes and before i wind up i want to tell you that we have a community called franchise ecosystem hub where i have hundreds of business owners just like you and me who are building their franchise system and franchising their business. And if you're interested and if you want to learn about more on how we can implement the system, I'm giving you knowledge in this entire video about what it is, how it is. But if you want to implement, I will invite you to my masterclass, which I do, which I've shared the link on the top. You can either make an inquiry or get into the masterclass to understand how you can take your business and franchise it within 30 days. Yes, within 30 days, we are building the franchise systems and we are the largest community of franchisers across India. So that's about in this particular video. So before I wind up, I want to ask you that please subscribe to the channel if you're watching this video on YouTube. And if you're watching anywhere else, please hit the like button and follow and subscribe so that in future, when I'm making some interesting videos about franchising your business and franchising topic, you will get notified about that. Okay. So, uh, and you can also follow us. Uh, we are on all different platforms. You can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And those are the links. You can just go Google Karthik Naidu. You get all the links and you can stay in touch with me for more information and specific information about franchising because I am an entrepreneur turned franchiser okay I'm not an advisor I'm an entrepreneur turned franchiser I still franchise my businesses and I'm helping hundreds of business owners to scale their business using franchise system so thank you so much for watching this video it means a lot do hit the like button share this and subscribe and I will meet you soon in the next video where I will be sharing with you a uh, a very, very interesting topic relating to franchising. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.